We all know Fig Cookie is one of the worst epics of all time. I feel kind of bad for them. So today, I want to give them a chance to become meta. There's a huge problem though. In Global Cookie Run, they're screwed. Their damage is low, their attack debuff sucks, and they have no magic candy. However, in Chinese Cookie Run, they got buff. In this version of the game, they can heal your cookies. There's also not that many good healers at the moment. This is one of the best chances I have to make Fig Cookie meta. Well, that's what I thought at first. Little did I know, but this buff wouldn't really help at all. In fact, Fig is so bad that this turned into a challenge video. I'd even struggle to beat story mode, but in order to understand why story mode is so important to me, we need to rewind all the way back to the beginning. It all started when I got banned from Chinese Cookie Run. So after finishing my previous video, I figured out how I actually got banned. I tried creating my account on a PC instead of a phone. Apparently, people don't like it when that happens, so I got banned for that. But then I bypassed the ban by using someone else's account. It was owned by this guy named Mr. Duck, and I was able to start from scratch on his Hollyberry server save file. Basically, we have two separate profiles on one account. After that, I wanted to prove that I'm worthy of playing Chinese Cookie Run, so then I promised that I'll beat story mode. I proceeded to beat episodes 1 through 7, the only worlds available at the time. Time. But then, at the end of the video, World 8 got released and I didn't do it. So now, I have to make Fake Cookie meta at the same time as beating World 8. Starting at 8-1, we're gonna use this team right here. I know, it looks really cursed, I'll explain. First of all, who the heck is this right here? Well, her name's Goldoth Mansis and she's the best DPS in the whole game. She shoots a really slow flower, it explodes and charms the opponents like Kumio. She also heals and boosts the attack of your whole team. You may be wondering why I'm using Latte, Pomegranate, and Werewolf. Well, they're part of the Chinese meta. Werewolf, Madeline, Red Velvet, Dark Choco, and Strawberry Crepe are the best tanks. Goldoth Mansis, Latte, Espresso, and Poison Mushroom are the best DPS cookies. Pure Vanilla and Pomegranate are the best healers. I'm not sure about cream puff yet, but today I want to add fig cookie to the list. Here's the best treasures for world exploration. The epic scroll, the rare scroll, the watch, and either the ghost horn, the torch, or the feather. So yeah, that's the reasoning behind my team. I would have made it better, but I was missing a lot of cookies. Anyways, here we are, the beginning of episode 8. If I beat all of these levels with fig, then there's a possibility they can become meta. Wait, hold on a second. Did a bunch of my cookies just die instantly? I guess they did. Maybe fix garbage after all. I tried a second time and things weren't looking too good. I have an idea though. I'm gonna build a team that nukes this wizard boss. I decided to replace pomegranate with squid ink. Although espresso and poison mushroom are better, I still didn't have them. Hopefully triple DPS is enough to kill the boss. Let's try this team and see if it works. Dang it, of course my cookies die at the last second. I'm starting to feel like fig cookie is not that useful. To prevent this from happening again, I have another idea. I'll do some gacha pulls to obtain better cookies. Goldoth Mansis and Strawberry Crepe are the featured ones right now. And I was able to obtain Strawberry Crepe. I'll start using them since they're really good for world exploration. Typically, YouTubers have insane luck and stuff, right? Well, after I got Strawberry Crepe, I got nothing of value. I guess I'll replace Werewolf and call it a day. Let's speed run through episode 8 now.
we're at the final boss now. I just have to use Fig to defeat Dark Enchantress. So here's where things got really bad. At first, I thought this level wasn't gonna be that hard. All of a sudden, my latte got one shot for no reason. I realize I'm a bit underleveled for this. I think they're supposed to be at least level 45 or something. So it turns out the boss is really tanky. On my first attempt, I learned that the hard way. Before my second attempt, I unlocked Poison Mushroom. They're good against bosses, but I still didn't do enough damage. On my third attempt, I tried using Dark Choco, but he died. Out of desperation, I gave up on using Fig. I still couldn't kill the boss. Eventually, I was able to make all my cookies survive. Of course, I still lost. After that, I just gave up. Fig cookie's not the problem here, it's actually myself. If I ever want to beat this level, I need to train to become stronger. Okay, I have a new plan now. Of all the meta cookies I mentioned earlier, I'm missing red velvet, espresso, pure vanilla, and cream puff. Pure vanilla and cream puff are way too difficult to obtain. Instead, I want to get red velvet and espresso. I have to buy them from the mileage shop. I also have to make my old cookies stronger. To do this, I need to grind every single game mode, starting with the tropical soda islands. Wait a second, is Fig Cookie trash inside the arena? Well, yeah, and here's why. Fig does no damage, her attack debuffs useless, and they're completely outclassed by Pure Vanilla and Pomegranate. What about the other game modes though? Well, the Soda Islands, Tower of Chaos, and Bounties are way too easy to give a fair assessment. I'm still working on the easy stages of Dark Mode. The Cookie Alliance straight up doesn't exist yet. In Story Mode, Fig's healing slightly lower than Pomegranate and Gold of Mansis is. And finally, for Guild Battle, they're simply just not part of the meta. I guess there isn't any hope for fig after all. I couldn't even beat freaking story mode with them. Maybe it's time to give up. You know what? I still want to beat story mode with fig. I decided to ask my discord for help and this person called crystal coco told me to use the guild team. It consists of red velvet, dark choco, pomegranate, poison mushroom, and gold of mansis. You're supposed to use a scroll, the watch, and the slingshot. In my previous video, I didn't use this team and I got really low damage. So then I purchased red velvet with mileage. Also, notice how the dragon is a different color? That's because in China, skulls and blood are banned. Anyways, let's see how much damage we did. Okay, 1.7 million, that's a lot better than last time. I tried using the same team on Dark Enchantress and it worked. There's a huge problem though, I won with only 2 seconds left. If I replace any of these 5 cookies with Fig, I won't have enough DPS to kill Dark Enchantress. I barely won with a normal team, so with Fig, it's just not gonna happen. A few days of non-stop farming passed. I spent a lot of time leveling up my Goldoth Mansis. She used to be level 39, but now she's level 43. Hopefully this should make up for my missing pomegranate. Oh yeah, my other cookies are under leveled, but we'll be fine. Anyways, I'll still use Fig, even though they're not meta. After all, I need to finish what I set out to do. I have to beat story mode with Fig. At the end of the day, Fig Cookie's not meta. I was able to beat Story Mode with them though. It was a nice challenge. If you want to see more videos like this, then you should subscribe, also because I'm poor. I might even make a part 3 for Chinese Cookie Run. Alright, see ya.